Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is George again with another review. And this time is from one old school fragrance, Carlo Corinto. I'm going to start with the presentation. This is the box. It's a plain boring box from the 80s. Um, green dark box. It's plain. And some information in the back. This is the front. This is the top. And the bottom, we should have the code engraved in the box and the, bo the bottle is actually it's just a classic bottle the same same as the all those classic 80s bottle it actually reminds me of something some like a egoist by Chanel this is the cap a cheapy cap it's black square cap it doesn't fold too uh, too well on the bottle if you hold it the cap the bottle is gonna fall so this is the front of the bottle this is the back where it has this kind of art engraved in the bottle this is the bottom this picture works pretty pretty nice you can see it has a nice spritzer yeah, baby, it smells good. So, all right. <clears throat> Carlo Corinto uh, was launched back in 1984, created in Mexico City by Jean Pierre Duran and Lilia Ritali. Classified as a goodie for gel fragrance. This fragrance has been reformulated a couple of times now, but it still has the same main smell and the same soul. Looking at the note breakdown, I can notice that they add a modern touch to this fragrance, like the citrusy opening and the vanilla touch in the dry down. So my review is gonna be in the new reformulation of this fragrance. Uh, the bottle sizes, I could, I only could find one size, 3.4 ounces or 100 ml. The price will run between 35 and 55 American dollars for a big bottle like this one. So yeah, let me get to it. At the opening, the first thing that I smell is a nice pine of scent, totally overshadowed by a blast of la lavender and citrus notes. The citrus in this fragrance are green citrus, like a bergamot and green lemons. The lavender and citrus smell just last for a moment. Rapid rapidly, the citrus smell gets over the, lav the lavender smell, throwing the lavender to the background with the pine of scent and giving a chance to the herbal, herbal notes comes to the front getting very well blended with the green citrus smell the opening of this fragrance doesn't last long on my skin after 10 to 20 minutes it hits the middle which is it's fine with me because the, the middle is the main attraction or the most pleasant part of this fragrance the opening of this fragrance can seem like this is not a powerful fragrance, but be careful. As soon as the fragrance hits the middle, it's going to transform in a beast. It has to be applied very carefully because it's, if it's oversprayed, it could seem like it's fine. But as soon as it gets into the middle, this fragrance can, can kill a horse. So just be careful with this fragrance. Um, when the fragrance gets into the middle, the citrus are gone, same as the lavender smell, leaving only some traces of the herbal notes and giving a chance to the pine scent comes to the front this pine scent is a, a strong clean sharp with the old school vibe that this fragrance has the middle of this fragrance it's all about clean pine smell a little bit sweet and spicy the pine scent in this fragrance is not one of the most natural pine scents in the world, but it's very pleasant. The smell of this fragrance, it makes me feel like being in the middle of a forest after raining with all those huge pines and wet green grass. Far away some eucalyptus and all these type of herbal plants and some lemon trees and patchouli plants as well. And when the cold, the cold air um, hits my face I can smell in the air the herbal smell a little bit of lemon scent and the smell of those pine trees with the patchouli all together 
but at the same time a feeling, a feeling of warm sun rays cooling through the forest amazing combination between the clean fresh and cold pine scent with the warm and heavy vibe of these 80s fragrances pretty much in the middle is this amazing pine scent and patchouli and in the background a touch of herbal notes the patchouli is not very strong but it's noticeable giving a nice earthiness to the fragrance The patchouli in this fragrance it complements amazingly with the, the sweet pine. So, like I say, the middle of this fragrance is the main attraction or the best part of the fragrance. In the dry down, it's not too much going on. Basically, it's the same sweet pine smell and patchouli toned down with a hint of vanilla and a touch of amber, which it gives to the fragrance a modern touch to it. The dry down gets very close to the skin but it's still noticeable. People is gonna still notice the scent of this fragrance. The projection is great <clears throat> in the opening, is decent, in the middle gets very strong and the dry down gets close to the skin, but like I say, it's still noticeable for people around you. The longevity is great as well. Eight to ten hours every single wear in my skin, more than I that I need in a fragrance. The seasons, I can see this fragrance being worn in all seasons, fall, winter, spring, and even summer nights. But personally, I will wear it in those hot summer days. It's just too much for those hot, humid days. And I will recommend this fragrance for teenagers. This is more for guys in the late 20s and up. This fragrance is a compliment getter by mature girls. So that's why I'm saying that probably teenagers are not going to enjoy this fragrance because the young girls around you, you know, could say that if you're wearing your dad perfume or something like that. So, yeah, if you don't like fragrances with patchouli, stay away from this. If you are not into 80s fragrances, probably you are not going to enjoy this. And of course, for some people, the pine scent could seem like or could smell like household cleaner. So that's up to you but if you like the old school fragrances uh, if you enjoy the vibe the pine vibe in Burberry London or the opening in Les Standard line or if you're looking for something to attract cougars this is for you but try this fragrance first I know some people who wear this fragrance and the sense turns in a rancid smell so be careful please try this fragrance first on your skin the rate this fragrance doesn't have a unique scent because I'm sure there's a lot of pine scents from the 80s out there but the projection and longevity is great the silage is great as well it's a compliment getter and it's pretty cheap so my rate is a 9 out of 10 plus like I said before in my opening of this fragrance in my unboxing this fragrance has a special uh, spot in my heart because this fragrance was one of my dad uh, favorite fragrance and I used to wear this fragrance when I was uh, almost a kid so yeah guys that's that's pretty much it that was my my review on this fragrance hope you guys enjoyed this review and like always rate comment and subscribe later